This is the T29E3 heavy tank fitted with a T5E1 105mm gun and rangefinder. And this is prototype. On the side view, you can see the um, it's a stereoscopic module or rangefinder on this side right here. This commander's cupola, antenna, periscope. This is the overhead view. It's a good view of the gun. Here's the mantlet. Here's the uh, dual stereoscopic visio modules. So they act like the eyes in your skull. So you can get depth perception and three dimensionality and all that. Engine deck. There's a rear view. There's a uh, front view. Really see those stereoscopics. Those are pretty cool. I'll read a caption. Development of the T-29 series of heavy tanks began late in World War II in an attempt to stay abreast of German and Russian heavy tank development. When World War II ended, the series production was discontinued, but eight test vehicles were built in the next few years. Lessons learned from, their, from these and many components were later incorporated into the post-war M103 heavy tank. So, she's sort of a precursor to the M103, the uh, brainchild of the Marine Corps of the U.S. A carryover of um, good concepts. Now, these uh, eight test vehicles, as mentioned, those could have turned into the T-30 and the T-34 conceptualata, but uh, that's heresy and heresy, and that's just my opinion. I really don't know how um, test line evolutions would go through military technocracy, stuff like that. She's over 20 feet, which is a pretty nice big tank. And here's the darling of WOT, or one of them. <laughs> 